What is going on, Pokey Peeps? Bringing you some Ultra League Weather Cup matches. Starting off, I am using a level 50 Purify the Bomb of Snow, a Blaziken, and a Ludicolo. Now, if you haven't played the Ultra League Weather Cup, it is dominated by water types. Kind of risky to use the Blaziken, but it is a super good counter to my opponent's Bomb of Snows if they are running it, especially if they decide on Razor Leaf. Now, Ludicolo here, it's Razor Leaf is hitting these leads that are water types like a hammer. People that lead Swampers, they are pretty much doomed. Now, you might think like, Ranger Curly's got some really good foresight here to get this Ludicolo to such a high level. Now, I just really like Ludicolo. When they were spawning in one of the seasons, I was taking advantage and just getting as much XL candy as I could, simply because I like the Pokemon. Now it's really paying off. These Weather Cup matches were fire. Let's jump in. Let's get into the first match up against Tabayuko. Hmm. Neat. Tabayuko, let's go. Sends out a Primarina. Okay, I would imagine Primarina is running Charm to be hitting other water types for neutral damage. Yep, there is the Charm. Of course, my Razor Leaf is going to be doing a lot of super effective damage. Charm might be doing neutral, but we definitely have the advantage. Before I am able to knock out the Primarina, they decide to send out Kingdra. Now we have a very charged up Ludicolo. My grass type moves will be doing neutral because Dragon resists grass. They are throwing up the shield. They know about the Leaf Storm. I don't want Ludicolo to hang out there with a debuff, so I'm going to send out the Abomas now. Now, I got a call. Is it Outrage or Octazooka? Going to shield just in case. Ah, they baited me. They got me with the Octazooka. Okay. But we are doing neutral damage again with our ice type moves. Water Dragon, neutral on ice gonna fire the energy ball still gonna be neutral Kingdra has super good typing they let it go through get the Kingdra into the red would love the powder snow this Kingdra down before they possibly get to an outrage oh, I was able to do it they must have been super close and they call it well they probably had a swamp or something in the back a good first game let's get into the second matchup against Felito okay Felito Felito what you got for me Ooh, a lolling golem hmm interesting pick Rock Electric, Mons again, Razor Leaf doing super effective damage. Their electric move will be doing neutral to us, so gotta be wary of wild charges. It could also be carrying Rock Blast. I'm gonna let this first move go through. Let's see what you got for me. Rock Blast. Yep, just a tad bit of neutral damage. Still gotta be wary about the wild charge. Volt Switch is very good at gaining energy. That Razor Leaf would have taken it out. They get to a move. Once again, gotta be wary. I Kinda wanna keep advantage. They just fire the rock blast. I guess they didn't get to the wild charge. I feel like they would have though. Weird. Then they send out Empoleon. Hmm. Steel water type. Once again, Razor Leaf doing neutral on it. We are going to bait with the ice beam. I could throw a leaf storm that would do a very big amount of damage, but also debuff me. They don't shield, so I should have went for the leaf storm. They are probably are going to throw a Drill Pack. It's time for Ludicolo to shield up. Okay, I really would love the Razor Leaf the Empoleon down. Mm, I could throw a Blaze again here to do some super effective counter damage. Actually, almost get to another charge move while getting the Empoleon down. Force them to throw. Yep, there's the Drill Pack. They still have two shields, but we still have two Mun. I'm gonna send out the Abomasno to try and get a bunch of energy. They have a Polyrath in the back. Hmm, this doesn't look favorable. If a Brave Bird or an Energy Ball would touch the Polyrath, it would definitely get like KO'd. But I am gonna have to play this smart if I wanna take this win. They have all the shields they could possibly need. Going to hopefully bait here. Are you going to shield up my Blaze Kick? Yep, they do shield. Okay, okay, we're putting in some work. There's some hope. Would love to be able to get to another Brave Bird. I can't get there. I feel like I'm going to get KO'd before I get there. So I'm going to throw a second Blaze Kick. I definitely don't want the Dynamic Punch to touch my Obama Snow, but I'm pretty sure they are able to get maybe even two. Let's see what's going to happen here. We know it's a Dynamic Punch, but how much damage? There's Dynamic Punch. Obama Snow holds on. It's in the yellow, so... Mm. They threw very quickly. They knew I was going to get to that energy ball. 
I was going to be able to resist the water falls on the Empoleon, so that was definitely a good choice from my opponent. Uh, pretty good game. Good game. So we're at one win, one loss right now. That ain't too bad for two matches. Up against Chewy Mander. Cool. I like that name. All right, Chewy Mander. Shadow Swampert. We could not have asked for a better lead. It's not going to be able to take these Razor Leafs, and it's probably not going to be able to hurt us. Earthquake and Hydrocan would have been resisted. Opponent switches into a shiny Charizard. Cool. It's run the Dragon Breath. I'm gonna bring out Obama Snow. No, this isn't like the best choice. Blaziken might have even been better. But this Charizard resists pretty much everything I can throw at besides Ice type moves. They threw the Dragon Claw, the bait me. Good job, they did it. <laughs> but at least we're pretty spammy. We're gonna be able to get to these weather balls really quickly. They shield up. What is good about this is that I can shield right now because they have that Shadow Swampert. Um, that's like a free KO for my Ludicolo as long as I can match up Swampert to Ludicolo in the future of this battle. We're looking pretty good. They use their last shield. Alright, Powder Snow Weather Ball has always been very spammy. They are going to get my last shield too. It was a Dragon Claw, did not need to use it. Once again, feeling pretty safe, so I don't mind burning up all my shields. So. Yeah, and they're about to KO me, probably, because of a Blast Burn, right? Oh no, they fired a Dragon Claw! They must not have been able to get to the Blast Burn in time. They know how spammy Power Snow Weather Ball is. Good foresight from my opponent, just to at least be able to do some damage. Weather Ball goes through. No, Charizard hung on. They switched out really quickly. And they bring out a Typhlosion. Okay, now I feel a lot better bringing out Blaziken. Typhlosion is usually running like Blast Burn and Solar Beam. And Blaziken is going to be able to resist those. It's a glass cannon, but as long as it's resisting the moves, I should be pretty okay. There is the Blast Burn, and because they switch, they're locked into this Typhlosion. So I am safe to charge up into the Brave Bird. Gonna be able to take out this Typhlosion. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lot lower defense. As you can see over there, it's gonna lower my defense by three stages. But I still get the switch out into the Ludicolo. Razor leaving the Shadow Swamper down. All they got left is that Charizard back there. Just gonna throw a leaf at, opponent knows it, and they forfeit the match. That was a very good game for us. Let's go into match number four. We got two wins, one loss. We need one more to get that encounter. Up against Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon sends out, oh look, a Swamper. Lovely. Once again, we love Swamper leads. Razor Leaf's doing a lot of damage. They get out of there, send out the Obama Snow. We actually super love this too. Blaziken is like the counter for Obama Snow no matter what's running, especially if they're running a Razor Leaf set. We don't even need to shield. We don't even need to throw a charge move. We can just counter this Obama Snow down. Yep, just getting all of this energy. It's probably gonna throw another Weather Ball. What you got? There it is. Yep, we resist the water ball. Get us into the yellow. We could throw a charge move just to hold on to our health, but I much prefer having a lot of energy on the Blaziken. If they bring Swampert back, that'd be great. Oh uh, no, they brought Typhlosion. We resist the fire type moves. We are super charged up. Not even gonna fake it. We're going right for the Brave Bird. Hopefully we'll be able to charge up to another one. Oh, they take it! Down goes Typhlosion. All they got left is Swampert. Ludicolo. Ludicolo's gonna KO this swamp pretty easy, and they're not even gonna see my Obama Snow. The opponent realizes it. That was a good game. Okay, folks, so this is actually just gonna be like a four battle set. This was actually the first set of matches I did when the um, New Weather Cup started, and I had actually gone in with like an already lost Great League match. So this was only three out of four, and. Yeah, three wins out of four battles. We might have been able to get to a fourth win if it was a full five set. Ooh, an Umbreon counter. That's pretty nice. But yeah, as I said, I apologize. I went into this set. It was uh, with an already made battle. But I should be able to bring you guys another set of battles with the same team, with the Weather Cup. I do have another set I have recorded, and it was pretty good. It might focus a little more on Blaziken. Yeah, Blaziken is pretty glassy, but it, it's actually been pretty niche in this league. So, yeah, thanks for joining me for these matches. Ludicolo, you can see, was still making people quit. These were still some pretty good matches with Ludicolo as a lead. If they start with Swampert, they pretty much lost the game. Blaziken and Obama Snow are back there, 
to handle anything that the Ludicolo wouldn't have been able to handle. Uh, still some great matches, and I should be able to bring you some more this coming weekend. Thank you for joining me, and as always, trainers, happy hunting.